the free agent moves. Um, and the biggest head scratcher to me is a lot of y'all's goat. He made another bad decision. Mr. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan paid $120 million, $120 million to, to sign Gordon Hayward away from the Boston Celtics. <sighs> Gordon Hayward, a 2020 slash 2021 version of Gordon Hayward is going to make $30 million playing in Charlotte. Y'all can't be serious, man. Yeah, y'all go. Michael Jordan did this. Is he serious? Shout out Terry Rozier. Once again, a Louisville guy. Uh, y'all know I love me some Louisville guys. But y'all, but the Charlotte Hornets let Kimba Walker walk, let him go to Boston. They didn't want to pay him. But instead, pay Terry and Gordon Hayward a combined $47 million per year, but let Kimba Walker walk. I, I, I can't make this up, y'all. Charlotte only been to the playoffs three times the last 15 years. And one of those reasons is because of Kimball Walker. Goat James, you're right. You're damn right, Goat James. He's that good. But Charlotte's went to the playoffs three times the last 15 years. And one of those times was because Kimball Walker led them to the playoffs. And you go outside a 2021 version of Gordon Hayward for $30 million. That just doesn't make that all that screams, that almost screams uh like some about that is racist. <laughs> like, like, like some about Kim Walker getting 30 million in 2021 is like racist, man. Because when he turned down 34 million, I was like, somebody's gonna pay him a whole bunch of money because there's no way in hell this man is turning down 34 million dollars guaranteed if he don't got a plan that somebody's gonna give him that bag. Somebody said this is white white privilege. It is white privilege. You're damn right, because there's no way in hell, no way, Gordon Hayward should be making thirty million. But y'all go, Michael Jeffrey Jordan paid that man thirty million dollars to come try to run ball with with Lamelo Ball. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work. They got rid of Batum, who who they were gonna pay, who they were paying twenty seven million a year. I, I saw there was this tweet. I think. Uh, Worldwide Wobe, his name on Twitter, uh, he put out this tweet about like these really bad contracts that were on the books as of today. I think they got rid of one, but as of today, there's some really bad contracts on the books for the Charlotte Hornets. I'm gonna see if I can pull it up. Uh, these, the, I mean, these contracts, man, it, they make me laugh like they're that bad. Uh, let me see if I can share my screen because that that's the only way. That's the only way you're gonna be able to, to really understand what I'm talking about right now. So if you can see my screen right now, these are the contracts that are on the books for currently for everybody except Nicholas Batum. These are the contracts on the books for the Charlotte Hornets right now. You got Gordon Hayward making $30 million a year. They cut Nicholas Batum, but they're going to stress. They still got to pay the man. His, his contract, NBA contracts, guaranteed, fully guaranteed, especially when you're a big baller like this. $27 million, so they're going to stretch that to try to save some cap space. They cut Nicholas Batum, but he was scheduled to make over $27 million a year. You got Terry right here at 18 almost $19 million a year, and Cody Zeller, $15 million a year. Just had to type this. The man said just had to type this out so I could see it in my own eyes. Because it doesn't make any sense, y'all. It doesn't make any sense. You're paying. I mean, look at these deals. These are horrible. Just for a team, the best the Charlotte Hornets can do. This is the Eastern Conference, right? Charlotte is in the Eastern Conference. The best they can do with this roster, plus LaMelo Ball and P.J. Washington and Devontae Grimm, a guy who was, I think he was under, either undrafted or drafted late in the second round. The best they can do with these guys, plus LaMelo, P.J., and Devontae Graham, is losing the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> That's the bet. But they're paying these guys 30, 19, and 15. Michael Jordan, oh, my God. He, he, ought to be a, he ought to be ashamed of himself for that. I mean, that is horrible. Horrible. That they've had the worst offseason so far. Besides getting LaMelo, who I think has the most upside in the draft, they have been absolutely horrible. 
absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. 